Hi Dream Weavers, it's me Keisha here at the Enchanted Dream Catcher. I'd like to think I'm one of your favourite little witches on YouTube, but I may not be. But for fun, let me comment below, let me know who your favourite YouTube witchy pagan person is. I'm always out on the lookout for more witchy people to follow. So yeah, that would be cool. And so, because I love this season so much, as you know, if you're an OG follower, but I live for fall, I live for Samhain, is my favourite without a doubt. I thought, for my separate celebration series, why am I doing just one video when I could be doing two? You got that right, two videos for Samhain, for my Sabbath celebration series. Because this is my favourite Sabbath, I am not just sticking with one video. We are hitting the two on this one. So this video for my Sabbath celebration series for Samhain, the last video I did, which when you watch this, this other video should be posted, it was uh, just all about Samhain. This one is going to be some things that you can do for Samhain when you don't have much energy, you're sort of feeling a bit low, or you've got a busy, hectic lifestyle and you really want to celebrate the Sabbath and the season, but you just don't have the time, the will, the motivation to be doing a big ass, like, a uh, ritual decorating your house from top to bottom and just binge watching all the Halloween TV series and movies like from September right through to the end of October. So yeah, if that sounds like you, then this video is for you and keep watching. So, let's get into this video. Am I a bit wonky? Let me change that up. And still got my Mystic Witch shirt on. I'm still rocking this top. I can't feel feel like I'm a bit wonky. Let me unwonkiness this. Am I wonky? Um. Uh, it'll do. It'll do. As always, got my trusty iPad with my video notes that I will have in my lap. So, yeah, so let's get on it. So, some low energy things you can do to honour the season and honour the Sabbath. Things like buying a small pumpkin or a gourd. Any sort of gourd, I probably buy a pumpkin. I just love pumpkins. You can get you can get really small, you can get really tiny like munchkin ones, like super small but like less than a pound, so it'd be like less than a dollar, they're like, would it be like less than a dollar? Which way around is it? I'm trying to think of the conversion thing. Uh, I don't know, well you get my thing, they'll be real cheap anyway. So that's really fun, so you could just buy some, you don't need to carve it or do anything with it, you could just buy a couple and just like, put them on your altar or put them in your living room or whatever. Sitting outside and soaking up the sort of like crisp and chilly weather. I love to do that, especially if you live in America or you live somewhere where you're really lucky and you have a porch. Like I love when I go and visit my dad, when I just sit out on his porch. I love doing that in fall. Just sitting out on the porch, listening to the wind blowing, leaves rustling, see them all falling. And as well, if you're like raking up your yard, I love jumping in leaves. It's just such a... I don't know, it's just such a fun, low energy way to sort of really connect with the season. 
lighting candles specifically candles that you associate with this time of year this is what candles like black candles orange candles candles that smell of pumpkin that smell of um anything that reminds you of or you associate with this time of year is really cool but yeah speaking of that let me just grab my pumpkin my candle probably can't really see it i got it from home sense like a few weeks ago and for those of you that are in america home sense is like is the english version of home goods so this one is actually called white pumpkin and look it's decorated super cute with little like acorns and a fake leaf and it's white pumpkin oh god that smell i can't it just smells so good i literally saw it in there and i picked it up and i was like smelt it and i was like oh my god i gotta have this it's oatmeal and creamy vanilla bean with a bourbon infused brown sugar pumpkin oh god it smells amazing so yeah find a pump find a candle that does that to you and yeah like that <laughs> definitely low energy way to do it drink something with pumpkin spice in it starbucks i know it's this time of year so starbucks have come back out with their pumpkin spice latte like i don't like pumpkin i don't like pumpkin spice latte because obviously i don't like i don't drink coffee i know why i said obviously because i don't know if that's ever something that i've talked about before but yeah no i don't like coffee i really don't like coffee but what i do is when i go to starbucks is i always have a hot chocolate and i ask to have a shot of pumpkin spice in it and oh it tastes so good and also as well like we don't in england creamers are not really a thing but in america you can as you well know you can get like all the flavored creamers so you could buy a pumpkin flavored creamer and add that to your hot chocolates your coffees your teas whatever it is that you drink and i'm sure that would taste so good and as well uh, when I was last in America last year, when I was staying with my cousin, we managed to get some Swiss Miss pumpkin flavoured hot chocolate, and that was so good. And we used the pumpkin creamer as well, then it just tasted like really good. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing something like that. Watching your fave witchy movie that's like such a fun and simple way to uh, honour the season and honour the Sabbath. Like, there's so many, like, some of my favourites are Hocus Pocus. Uh, Nightmare for Christmas, Practical Magic, The Craft, all those sort of movies are so good. Even things like The Good Witch, I think, is fun. But yeah, you could watch, or you could watch your favourite TV, witchy TV show. My favourite ever Charmed episode is from season three, the All Hallows Eve one, when they go back to 1600s and they go to Virginia, back to Virginia 1600s and oh that that's my favorite episode I actually watched that one the other week also as well um sort of goes the same as sort of sitting and soaking up the season but observing the changes and the leaves changing i love doing that you could go for a drive somewhere you know where it has like a, a pretty sort of trail where you can see sort of the leaves changing or you can just sort of sit outside and just uh just sort of feel and really connect like with Gaia and just sort of see or, and just sort of feel and see all the leaves changing colours and things like that and you could also go leaf picking as well I've taken my niece leaf picking before in like a local park it's just really fun like we just go and we just find all these fallen leaves we pick out all the pretty ones and then she takes them home and makes like pictures with them and things like that you don't even have to do that with kids you could go leaf picking and then you could put the leaves like you could decorate your altar or or whatever with them I just think it's really fun or you could press them and put them in your book of shadows or anything I think it's a really cool idea um you could eat some pumpkin seeds if you like roasted pumpkin seeds you could roast some pumpkin seeds and eat them they quite like pumpkin seeds or yeah you could or you don't even have to eat pumpkin seeds as they are you could roast them and you could um you could put them you could bake them in something you could sprinkle them on top of like muffins or cupcakes or pumpkin bread anything i think that would be a really cool idea also as well you could draw yourself a, a witchy bath 
and especially this time of year i know places like lush have like the seasonal bath bombs like halloween ones and stuff probably get in the supermarkets and stuff so you could relax make yourself a nice witchy bath light some candles um you could make a whole ritual out of it if you wanted to like a low-key ritual or if you didn't you don't have to you put your bath bomb in there just sort of like sit and soak up but you could just put some witchy music on or not you could just be alone with your thoughts just think of all the things you're grateful for what you're wanting to bring about in the witchy new year also reading your favorite witchy book that could be fiction non-fiction you don't necessarily have to read the whole book you just read a few pages or whatever anything to make you feel that little bit extra witchy and also as well um if you're still working on your book of shadows you could make another page or something like that in your book of shadows you it doesn't necessarily have to be Samhain themed if you don't want it to if you did want to you could write all about Samhain or you could write about some things that or that you're going to do on Samhain or anything but yeah I think that's a really fun idea also as well I think what I touched on in my other video about the season about um using a cauldron and making it and um uh so who's super annoyed that I cleared some footage off my camera and again it's literally just die well just um memory cards got full again I was like I'm not going back through that again and I was nearly finished this video so I thought I know I'll pick up my phone and finish the last bit of this video on my phone because I thought I'm not picking up not going through my camera again it's just too much but yeah as I was saying um for our low-key sort of salmon witchy things we can do for that i was saying i touched on it in my other sabbath celebration series um video for um salmon we could or you could also um do a sort of little burning ritual uh so if you've got a cauldron or a fireproof dish you could get a piece of paper and write out everything you're grateful for this year and anything that you want to manifest for the following new year and then you could uh, burn that in your cauldron or your fireproof dish or where however you're burning it and then collect up the ashes go outside close your eyes make a wish or open the window and tip the ashes out and let them just sort of float along in the breeze and send your message out to the goddess or the universe so i thought that's something really fun that you could do also so yeah that's uh everything i can think of off the top of my head for sort of low-key uh sour and things you can do when you're sort of not when you're sort of feeling either feeling low or you're super busy or whatever it is so yeah i just thought those were some some fun ideas or things that you can do and yeah comment below if you have any ideas or things that you low energy low key things that you like to do to celebrate this time of year and yeah so i will see you in my next video so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.